Hermes was asleep one morning and um, I was watching him because I used to love to just watch him sleep. And I wrote him a text while he was sleeping so that when he woke up, he would read it. And so I'm gonna share with you um, that text. And then I'll go into my little stories about him that were special to me. Hermes, I want you to know that I feel real joy in my heart when I'm around you. I feel safe around you, protected, like a shield over me when you're around. I'm totally myself when I'm with you, which is probably annoying because I don't wear my cool mask anymore. You've made me into more of a woman. You've given me the opportunity to really love a man. You've been with me while I've been sick, through all my fears. You have encouraged me and inspired me to reach higher. I've learned so much about myself with you. You've been my turn up and my church. I wouldn't want to go through this journey with anyone but you. I look up to you in a lot of ways and I strive to educate myself more like you have. And when we are at odds, I feel defeated and sad knowing that we are so much better than that. I just want you to know that you've been the greatest boyfriend to me. You aren't perfect, but I would never ask you to be. You and I work, we fit, and you're the coolest guy in the world to me, still. I love you so much unconditionally. My truth is this, I'm never gonna give up on you. My love and my devotion is to you. And I sent that uh, January 21st, 2019. And to Aramis, the love of my life, you know what it is. Grief is the final act of love. My heart hears you. I feel you everywhere. I'm so grateful that I had you. I love you beyond this earth. And until we meet again, the marathon continues.